Hi, uh, my name is Bruce. Welcome to my studio. Today we're going to paint a picture of a winter scene. Now, first what I'm doing is painting a little bit of orange into my sky. And I'm going to add a lot more white to it. Just a little excess. What I'm trying to do, I'm creating a that early morning glow. In this area down here, I'm going to put a lot of white. And I'm going to carry that white. Now you notice I have a lot of orange with it. That's what I want. I want that glow to be carried right on into the snow area. This here is going to be a little valley. And I want a little bit of that orange to go across. Uh, this is going to be a river. And this is going to be the foreground which is going to be a little on a darker side. I'm also going to put some blue. I'm going to use I'm going to use an ultramarine blue with white. I'm also putting a touch of red with it. And I'm also putting a touch of sky blue or cerulean blue. And I'm putting a lots of white. I'm just going over that color that we've already put on, letting it shine through. Now this area to the right of the painting is going to be covered up mainly with trees. But I'm going to go ahead and put paint in. I'm going to also now put just a touch, not much, just a touch of alizarin crimson. And I'm going to blend that all in. I'm going to take a soft brush. I'm going to do it with excess first to blend it in. Then I'm going to pull the colors across. That's going to give you a nice blending mixture. And you notice it's orange on that side and bluish on that side. Now what we're going to do, we're going to create some clouds. Now the clouds, I'm going to start off with just white. I'm going to use a fan brush. And all I'm going to do is make little circles, just little circles, like so. Let me get to the end of my brush so you can see better. There we go, little circles. And I just decide where they should be. See the little red marks we put in? Those little red marks are my guidance, basically, where I want these little clouds. Now, the area from here to here is going to be the center of the painting. So this is the area I really want to pay a lot of attention to. Now, I'm going to pull that down a bit. Pull it down a little bit. Then I'm going to clean my brush. And I'm going to pull up. I'm going to blend this all together. There's a nice fluffy cloud. Turn my brush over, do the same thing. Nice fluffy cloud. There's your morning glow 
with clouds that are trying to find their way into the day. Now at the very inside of the clouds, I'm going over it again. And what I'm doing, I'm softening the edges. I'm making it very fluffy like, but leave the hard white also, fluffy white. Stop there. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start building a mountain here. Now the way I build a mountain, first I'm going to clean that brush because whenever I want to pick up a brush, I don't want to end up picking up the paint I previously used. So I'm going to clean my brush. I'm picking up another brush. Now I'm taking ultramarine blue. And I'm going to add a little bit of sky blue. And I'm going to make some mountains. Now I'm going to go over that with white. So I can get that distant effect. But what I really wanted also was that nice darkness in behind it. In front of this, I'm going to put a little darker color. I'm going to take a little bit of the red and I'm going to add it to that blue that we're using. And this is going to make it nice and pinkish is what I'm looking for. And I'm going to drag that across. And then in the middle of these two colors, I'm going to take my palette knife I'm going to take some white and I'm going to touch it all the way across. And there's your mountains. Now we're going to go to the side. And then on the side, we're going to build trees. I'm going to use the same colors that I use for the mountains but with a lot more white. Now I'm using the round brush and all I'm doing is taking the edge of it and I'm puffing it up. Then I'm going to take a little bit of white and I'm going to go over that. Remember this is winter and I'm going to create little bits of white all through it. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Get some white. Do the same thing. I'm going to puff it up. I'm also creating trees when I do this. And I'm getting that distance faded look. Now we want to soften the edges. Take a clean brush. And just touch the edges a bit. That's going to soften all the edges. Now 
Now, in front of that, we're going to build a color. We're going to use burnt sienna and some raw umber and some white and a touch of red. Same brush. Now remember, this area over here that I'm doing is going to be mainly covered with trees that we're going to do in the front. The other thing to remember when I'm doing this, I'm building on an angle. I'll do the same thing on the other side. This is getting a little lighter as I go towards this the center. That's good. That's what we're looking for. Clean my brush. I'm picking up <clears throat> what I've already got on the canvas. I'm putting quite a lot of paint. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to paint some trees in front after we've scratched in a few branches. Now, what I do is I usually scratch in some colors of white, like so. And the trees get smaller as I go. Then what I do is I take a nice small brush and where I've scratched, in most cases, I will put white. Now the reason why I do that, or scratched it, is because I'm working with wet paint. And when you try to do wet paint, it's extremely hard sometimes to paint over it. So I scratch these little tree stumps and tree limbs and then I just go over them like so with white. Then what we're going to do we're going to create a bunch of trees lining this little field. Now what I'm going to do is I'm using a sap green and I'm going to use some of that original color that we used, the brown. A little bit more on the green side. I'm just going to clean my brush before I start. And I'm using the, I'm using a rounded brush. And what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to start making some trees. Now the trees, because we got a dark background, we have to put a lot of paint on. Now remember, leave some of those.
trees that we've uh, scratched in and then painted over. And again, this area is going to be covered. On the other side, same thing. Now we're going to use some, clean my brush, I'm going to be using that brush again shortly. Now what we're going to do, we're going to use some sky blue or cerulean blue and we're going to use that as a shadow to the trees that we just created. Oops, so. Then what we're going to do, we're going to take white, just plain white, and we're going to use that for a highlight. And shape the tree a little better. I'm going to go back with a little bit of darkness and I'm going to put a couple peaks on these trees as if they're firs. And I'm going to add a little white to that. And the trees are finished at this stage. Now what we're going to do, we're going to pull these colors that we used into the middle of our little valley that we've been. So I'm going to touch and pull. I'm going to go in also like a little area. Like so. And I'm going to go get some white. And I'm going to touch it up with white, like so. I'm going to clean my brush. I'm going to get some more white. And this time I'm going to put a touch of red in it. And 
And what we've cr created was a little hill going into the middle. Okay, same thing on the other side. Nope, I don't know where that come from. Clean my brush. Clean my brush again, put some white on it, pull it on into the middle again. I picked up some blue, that's quite all right. Blue is what we've been using for shadow, so I'll go over most of it. Some nice mounds of hill now. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take plain white. I'm going to change and put a fresh brush, even though I've cleaned this one. And I'm going to use a fan brush. And I'm going to take some white. And I'm going to go from the center up. Clean that fan brush again. White. And we pull up. From the center. Now that that's done, I'm going to clean my fan brush again. Now I'm going to go back with some brown, green, and I'm just going to put bushes along the line of the tree line. In the front, we're going to use the same color that we use for the trees. The browns, some of the sienna and the amber, and I'm going to create a little embankment, and I'm going to go in, out, because no embankment is going to be straight like a ruler. Then we're going to go back to our white. And we're going to put a little bit of snow touching the top of the little embankment. Picking up some of the brown, which is what I want. Not much of it though. Then I'm going to put a couple rocks. Now the way I do the rocks, <coughs> excuse me, the way I do the rocks is I take a brush. I take a round brush like so. And 
put my paint on it and then I just touch it and twirl it a little. That'll give it a shape of a rock like so. Just want a couple here and there to break up the terrain. One that maybe goes Then I take a clean brush with a little bit of white and I go underneath it and I pull it so I have the shadow of the rock. Then I highlight the rock with a little bit of white on one side. Just a touch. And then we'll have a little bit of blue on the other side. I'm going to put another rock in here too. And make a big rock there. Okay, now in this area here, we're going to do the river. The river itself, I'm going to start off with ultramarine blue. I'm going to put a touch of gray into it. This is winter. I'm going to go right up against that brown. And pull that brown into the river in a minute all the way through pick up some of that brown clean your brush now I'm going to switch over to sky blue with a touch of gray And in this area here, I'm going to put a touch of red with it. I'm going to switch to a smaller brush to go around the deer. I don't like that brush. I get another one. Clean it. Let's go back to what we're doing. Now I'm going to, in the middle, I'm going to make it lighter. I'm going to put more white, a touch of red. And I'm also putting some of that yellow from the sky. I want it broken up. And then what we're going to do, we're going to take, and we're going to take a brush to start it. I'm going to take a brush that's got a little brown on it, and I'm going to pull the little ridge that we had made into the water. I'm going to go high over here, so the rock is just on the edge, and I'm changing that water now. 
Now what we're going to do, clean my brush before I set it down. And we're going to take a nice soft brush. And we're going to turn this water into glass. Clean my brush again, picking up too much color. Now this area above the deer, I've left a little bit of lightness there. The reason is I'm going to put antlers in. So I like to have less paint. Now, I'm going to go back to the, the edge that we were working on, putting a touch of green, and I'm just going to touch up the edge. All I'm going to do is darken it. Then what I'm going to do is take a palette knife, clean my brush first, I'm going to take a palette knife, I'm going to take a cut of white, and I'm going to take that white. I want to show you how much I'm putting on my palette knife, very little. And then I'm just going to follow that little ridge that we created. Take a little bit of the same thing, but this time a little bit of blue. But following behind it, pull down a little bit. Now I'm going to take a little bit of white and make a little bit of marks in the water so that it gives you the impression that water is moving. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a stone in there. I'm going to go back to my brown again, and I'm going to put a stone, let's say here, so, and maybe another one here, and maybe another one here. I'm going to take a clean brush, clean that one first, clean brush, and I'm just going to pull Some of that color into the water. Like so. And I'm going to put a little bit of white on there for highlight. Then I'm going to take a liner brush and I'm going to put some blue and white. And I'm just going to go around it like so. More white. And that's giving the illusion that the water is moving a bit fast. Now, in this area, we're going to do some trees. I'm going to start off with. three trees and we're going to go back to that color of brown that we were using and 
I'm going to be using a fairly flat brush like so. That's nice and thin. And I'm going to put a tree, let's say, I'm going to say here. And I'm going to put a tree, a smaller tree here. And we're going to put a bigger tree. Make sure I have that nice and flat. And that edge really sharp. And I'm going to put a bigger tree. Now, doing this uh, tree, filling it in, the idea of this, you must put a lot of paint and you must put it nice and thick. When you start your tree, start it in the middle, like so. Now, the reason why I'm starting it in the middle is because we want to be able to get the shape of the tree. If you start at the top, most often you're going to go a little bit too thin. This way you can work your tree down to the area where the tree is already made. Okay, I'm going to have to change brushes. What's happening, it's not picking up the paint because i got a flat brush. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean that little, little brush that we were using a moment ago. And I'm going to put more paint on than I normally do. really load this brush up and I'm going to do it again there now that's coming nice and look at nice and dark that is that's what you're looking for the nice dark dark color now this is setting in the water later we're going to put a little bit of a mound of dirt there this one here I don't have to do this uh, starting in the middle the reason is it's going to be mostly hidden But I'll do it anyway. There we go. This one here, I have to make sure I got a lot of paint loaded on it. And I'm going to start halfway and I'm going to fill this all in. Now, through the center of the tree, make sure you put a lot of paint. And the reason why I say this is you're going to be putting highlights on. And when you put highlights on, the dark will make it stand out. Okay, that's good enough for that tree. So let's get into the highlights. Now the highlights, I'm going to use the same brush. I'm going to use the fan brush, so I'm going to clean it. For the hat, for the for the highlights, all I'm going to use is sky blue, cerulean blue. to it and load up this brush really really lots of it
clean my brush in between. This one back here is going to have a lot of blue because it's basically going to be in the shadows. Clean my brush. Don't want too much uh, of picking up that brown. I'm going to mix some more paint here. So, now what I'm doing, I'm mixing white and white and blue, loading up my brush. Now I'm also trying to follow, trying to follow the uh, limbs that we put on. Now what we're going to do, we're going to switch over to white with a touch of the sky color with it. And down here, I'm just going to fluff it up a little bit like grass. I'm going to clean my brush. And I'm going to put some white with a little bit of red in it. And some blue. Sort of a mauvey color. And then I'm going to go into white. Use a palette knife to put it on a little thicker than a nor and the, than a brush would do. Oop. A lot more than that. There we go. A little bit of red. I want a little red in here to break it up a bit. There we go. Now we're going to work here. I'm going to put all white here first just to start us off. Let's pour, get some more white going. Huh? I'm going to use my palette knife along the edges. I'm 
going to switch to a brush because they're close to the deer. Now what I'm going to do, around here, I'm going to put some blue, a shadow, a touch of red. To go touch touch the deer back up. Now what we're going to do, I think what we're going to do, we're going to build along here little little uh, shrubs and then we're going to work backwards. So for little shrubs, just going to take some brown to start off with and a little bit of red. Well, let's go a little bit of blue, a little bit of red and a little brown. I'm just going to put some marks to start with. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a brush, add some white on it, and I'm just going to fluff it up, like so. Make little snow barns on the, on the branches.
And then what we're going to do is drag some blue and gray, brown underneath it to break it up. That's that's the ground area. That's the more little blue. And we're going to go back again on the ground itself and just puff it up a bit. In fact, what we're going to do, let me get my fan brush out. I'm going to put some white on my fan brush and we'll just make a little bit of grass here. Here, I want it darker. The deer is. And I want little streaks. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to add snow mounds. We're going to take some snow by taking white. And we're just going to build some snow mounds. Take some blue and I'm going to put some blue in here. This is going to be shadow. Then I'm going to take that white again. I'm going to go put blue all the way up. Then I'm going to take white again and I'm going to build on top of that. This is done as far as this little area in here. I don't want to put too much in here. I think what I will do though, I'm going to put a little bit of the sun in here. That nice little gold. We like that little goldness into our picture. There we go. Now we're going to get dairy and we're going to put a couple trees in here. We're going to take a square brush, make sure it's nice and nice and pointed. And I'm going to put a tree. I guess I can put a tree here. And we'll put another tree here. Make it nice and thick. And we're going to go back and we're going to thicken this one up too. So there's a couple of trees. Now we're going to take a smaller brush. And put some limbs on it. Then what we're going to do, we're going to get a smaller brush again. A little fan brush would be perfect, I think. I'm say, no, not a fan brush. I think what I'll use is a nice little liner brush. And then I'm going to put some branches here.
Now before I get too far, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some blue on the opposite side of where the light's coming in. Light blue. Do a bit of white with it. And I'm going to make it nice and bumpy so the tree becomes <clears throat> not just a straight bark tree, but a little bit of bumps to it. Then we're going to put just straight white. Just going to put a couple little grasses in front of it. Add a couple more grasses here also. I think break it up a bit. Now what we're going to do on the tree, we're going to put a just a very, very, well, I got more paint on my hand than I have on the painting here. Just a second, wipe that off. We're going to put just a little bit of softness into that tree. The way we're going to do that, I'm going to take a nice clean brush and we're going to take some white. A little bit of brown because we are brownish and red so that we can show up the color and we're just going to touch I want to pick up some of that brown and the brown that I also have on my brush Lots of white. It's supposed to be sort of in a shadow, so that's what we're trying to do. What we're looking for is that nice little softness that you find in the tree. Now we're going to go back with just pure white. Just touch it up a little bit. There's your tray. Just soft, just a little softness. Now the painting is finished. We can get a little bit daring. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some antlers on this deer. And that'll be the end of the painting. Let's just see what we can do here. So I'm going to pick up some dark color that we were using for the for the uh, trees 
And I'm going to make it a little bit on the liquidy side. And then we're going to get brave. Okay. Let's just say we have an antler here. And we should have to match that up on the other side. Make it a little thicker. There we go. And we'll put, a, put some age into the deer and put some more antlers. Now I'm going to go and take some white. And I'm going to touch that up. There's some antlers, and I'm going to go where I just touch it up with my fingers. I'm just going to go blend that in. So now at this stage, it's finished. But what you want to do is you want to sit back and you want to look at it. And you want to say, okay, what can I do to improve it a little bit? Well, we can put a little bit more white if we want in different areas, like so. But we don't want to put too much of anything in it because the less you can put into a painting, I've always found, the better it is. You can overdo it. So what I'm going to do is stop. So I hope you've enjoyed this little painting. The The object of the painting was the background. Uh, I wanted to have this glow of where you have a, a glow of the orange in the morning that's found all the way through the painting. It's also on the highlighting of the tree. So that's it. So for you beginners out there, this is a great uh, painting to, to play around with and to learn uh, how to paint. Uh, the trouble is, like I say, you can go forever. Now these little rocks, for example, I'm going to put some snow on them. Uh, and that, I find, is the biggest fault, at least, that I have. Sometimes I don't know when to quit. So let's quit. Again, thank you very much for watching. Until next time.